Today's poet, along with his wife, Yudmila Khersonska, along with poet-translator Ilya Kaminsky, are doing a student colloquium tomorrow, 11-10, November 10th, at NYU's Lillian Vernon Creative Writing Center. I don't know whether this is a public event or just limited to students. Lyudmila, anyone, if you're watching this uh, and want to chime in in the comments, please do for clarity. Later in that evening, Yulia Kaminsky and poet-translator Katie Farris have an event of their own. I believe this is public from 5 to 7. Link in the description. At any rate, from In the Hour of War, poetry from Ukraine. Here is some Boris for you. So much packed into such a small space. They printed in the Medical History by Boris Khersonsky, translated by Ilya Kaminsky and Katie Farris. They printed in the Medical History. There was no Holodomor. It was the stable delusion of Anna Mikhailenko a teacher of Ukrainian literature. For seven years, she was in a special psychiatric hospital. It was a hybrid hospital, a madhouse, and a prison. It was a time of hybrid hospitals. Now is a time of hybrid war. Seven years is a biblical phrase, and Jacob served Laban seven years for Rachel, because he loved her. Seven. Seven years. Rachel calls for her children. She can't calm herself. Because they don't exist. They printed in the Medical History by Boris Khersonsky, translated by Ilya Kaminsky and Katie Farris. Please use those links. If you're in New York, check out the events if you can. Give me a like, a share, a subscribe if you wish, and I will see you soon.